Okay, so this is the Smart Lipo, made by Sinusure. It's a Smart Lipo Triplex. This is the hand piece that we use. The laser is here on the end, and I'm going to put the laser on the inside and melt fat. That's the first step. This is the machine. We have a fiber optic cable, this green cable. That's what the laser energy goes through. And then we have some other safety uh, parameters here. One is a cable to measure the temperature so we don't get too hot on the inside and we won't burn the patient. All the controls are done here and my nurse Nadia will be doing the adjusting as we go. So what I'm going to do now, I've already numbed her up. She's had a little sedation so she's comfortable. Putting in a little lubrication on here. Does that hurt? So there's a little popping noise, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's the laser that's being delivered into the fat layer to melt it. This area that I'm treating is her left hip. 500 joules, 45 times. It's almost like using a hot knife through butter. It just send, tends to melt right through the fat. Thousands of joules, 46 months. Pretty pain free. There's actually four steps to this process. The first one I've already done where I injected a solution in the numbing. The second is this, where I'm actually melting the fat with the laser. 1,546 The third will be using the laser to help tighten skin. And finally, we'll be doing some liposuction to remove the melted fat. So we're going to do skin tightening now. So the laser's been reset and readjusted. And I'm going to do the lasering right underneath the surface of the skin to promote more collagen and help the skin to shrink up. So are we ready, Nadia? We're ready. Okay. So it's basically the same technique of going in and out like this. This is a little trickier because I'm actually heating up the skin and I don't want to get it too hot or cause a burn. So there's a nice little temperature probe on the end of this laser cannula that measures our temperature. So this is the skin type. 1,046 chem. So we have to make little access incisions. There's a little cut here and a little one over here. We're going to leave tiny little scars so we put them in areas where you can't see them. So we don't see the skin shrinkage right away. This is something that will happen over the next couple of months. The skin will s tighten up. This little device here makes sure that I have movement at all times. If I stop moving, the laser will stop. On the end down here, there's a little temperature probe. So it's measuring the temperature at all times inside so I don't get too hot. This is the liposuction part. This is the power assisted liposuction. It's a motorized handpiece. Watch the end here when I turn it on. See how fast that vibrates? That helps to break up the fat and we're going to remove all that fat that we just melted. So, how it goes. Regular liposuction, the fat that comes out is much more reddish and munching. The laser really helps cut that down.
nice easy movement. You're just going through and removing that fat that is liquefied. I did these markings on her before standing up, so I kind of have a visual idea of where the fat is that I need to remove most. In circles, that's a high point there. I'm focusing on that a little bit more. I use my left hand to kind of feel where the tip of that cannula is so I don't go too deep or too superficial. How are you doing? Okay. Good, no pain? No pain. You'll need to wear a compression garment afterwards. It's really important to have a girdle that fits nice and snug so that as it heals, it'll be nice and smooth without any ripples. It's still nice yellow fat. There's no blood at all. The cannula is only three millimeters in diameter, pretty small. Sometimes on the neck area we'll use a two millimeter cannula. In the old days we used to liposuction with Cannulas that were five, six, seven millimeters in diameter. Almost never do that anymore. Okay up here? Not hurting? Not at all. Okay. Kind of going up under your rib cage a little bit. I'm your walking advertiser, Doctor. Yeah. I really am. <laughs> You're doing great. It helps me a lot when you're nice and comfortable. I listed 40 hours of labor with my first one, and this was the day before they gave you any. Mm -hmm. They knew that we were ready to deliver. It was horrible. It was just 